Hey, what is going on guys? Jack here, bringing a video. Today is episode 2 of the podcast, and man, am I excited. I've had a long day recently, so, like, excuse me if I'm all tired and bummed out. I... It's been a long day. But anyways, a recap of the last podcast, we are talking about Blops 3, and I also have a really bad headache. I'm sorry. But I had to make this today, because I got the pod going up on a Tuesday. I got the pod and the movie maker in it. Rendering. <laughs> but anyways, today what we will be talking about is just the new and latest and greatest blops info. Um, that's gonna be really important. Sorry if the voice tide changes. I just gotta be doing this real quick. Give me a second. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Is it good? All right, sorry we having some technical difficulties with Windows being a butthole, but um. Anyways, what I was saying is that I have a headache. I've had a rough day, so this one should be interesting for the least. Um. Oh yeah. Ah man, it's not feel good. But um. Anyways, today what we will be talking about in today's podcast is um the Witcher Three versus Bloodborne is going to be our main event. Um. I'm be recapping the last one and a little bit more in depth. Definitely more in depth. But um then we're gonna be talking about the MKX party. Don't ask me, it's a real weird thing. And so the little blops three case that they just announced like some new info or found out new events. Info not events, what am I saying? Oh my gosh, but oh, I'm sorry for that bump, but um so, those are the big main things, and let's get started into it. So, one thing that you're going to be wanting to be careful is, last episode, if you did not watch it, you should definitely go watch it before you watch this, because then we talked about the Blops 3 trailer, my impressions, um, my opinion on Minecraft, my opinion on Call of Duty as of lately, my opinion on past Call of Duties, my opinion on this, my opinion on that. It's been very mixed around but today we're going to be more organized and getting our stuff together but before we begin i want to thank you guys so much for the support we got around i believe four likes and 20 views which is pretty darn good for a channel my size and that was episode one of our podcast hopefully you guys can smash the three walls again because you guys did an amazing job but please in the comment section below i asking for any tips and everybody was just saying nice job and they watched the whole thing and cool and woo and awesome thing Today, I want you guys to critique me more on what you guys want to see in future podcasts, what I can do to improve this. I want to make this as much as an enjoyable experience for the fans out there who are watching this. I just want to make this a better experience for you guys. And so let me know in the comment section below what I can do to improve this. Thank you so much for making the first one a pretty nice video. And let's get started today. So. Recapping, oh wait, we already used to recap, freaking great, amazing job, Jack Rand, you've done a beautiful job. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Okay, silent time is over. Alright, so, um, as of the Blops 3 new info, aka Call of Duty of called Titanfall 3. I'm saying that, but you'll see after this. But we just had a few kill streaks announced, five to be exact. Well, not five, but here's the ones I know I haven't counted them out in my head. There we go, unorganized. Right there, boom. Example of my life right now. Amazing. But, um, so we're going to be talking about the kill streaks, and so here are the basic ones that we have. Alright, so we have the basic UAV. We have the RX, RXD, you know, the little toy car you can drive around and blow up in people's faces. Doesn't make it a toy, actually, to be honest. But, um, we have that in there. We have the mothership. Six kills for actually. My bad. Alright, so six. We have the mothership. And the mothership is like the big time, all time big kill streak that people are really enjoy. Then we have, like, the dog like things. And these are the things that are placing dogs in the game. They're like, um, robots instead of dogs that chase you. 
Okay, I'm so sorry I'm having a lot of technological difficulties, but as I was saying, those robots are dog, they ch dogs, like, they chase you down, they support you, they kill them. They're, like, replacing dogs, and the final kill streak is, like, this ball that you can see in the trailer. I have the trailer on my video channel, so you can go check it out. Um, it rolls around, and it kills the guy, like, running up its back, so it has, like, plants and so rolling, like, a bowling ball, or running around by itself. So that's a pretty cool kill streak, I guess. It might be fun to use around and get some kills with. Hey, uh, maybe we'll get it. But um, now here's the big thing. That's kind of very, not kind of. Um, well, actually, we'll save that for next. Um, but second off, there's something called custom guns. Don't word it as you think I'm wording it. It's not how I'm wording it, and how you think I am wording it. <laughs> Just gonna let you off right off the bat on that one. But um, then with the custom camo creator, it's confirmed that um well how do I put this it's not a picture that you can do it's more of a um, um a more of a like album creator in a very small part of the gun so like you have your logo on your gun you could have that before but you can have it bigger in a better place I guess I do <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired, but um, that's the case with that, and now here's the controversial part that a lot of COD fans are like going, you are ruining the game, it's just gonna ruin my Call of Duty. Um, they're called Spectres, I believe, not Spectators, Spectres. And they are like these robotic people who have like a different thingy. Nine people will be chosen in a match to have these. And it's like time based, like it is in Titanfall, that's why you hear me call it Call of Titanfall earlier. But, um,. <sighs> blah 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 man that's bad but um there are four types of them one of them you can thrust jump like not thrust jump but you can jump really high and like slam people down with your gums like guns like in titanfall one has like a one hit kill ko gun like the gold gun in destiny one can like put himself from where he was three seconds ago and one can like modify his team and like make them have this really beast push over and then they get gun outgunned eventually but um those are the four types of specters that they are and they're like nine people like i said get chosen in a match just like titanfall and titans but it's a lot more just dynamic i guess don't know how to put that one i'm really shocked I don't know what to think, man. I just don't know what to think. But anyways, Call of Duty is not the main attraction here and never will be the main attraction to my channel unless you really like Call of Duty. And you think it's my main attraction, but most of my audience doesn't come from Call of Duty. So, uh, not the main attraction, so I'm not going to make it the big signing star. Like, I'm a star. I'm a great big signing. No, Call of Duty, you're going downhill fast and they need to pick it up because I really dis dislike the last two Call of Duties. And I lost a lot of respect for what the series was and where it is now. It's gone downhill. Advanced Warfare was so hyped, and they just became fell. But we're not here to rant about how I have been disappointed by COD. We're here to talk about the MKX party. Woo -woo. And I'm talking about this is my favorite game of 2015 so far. MKX. It's the freaking masterpiece. Okay. And, uh, for those of you who don't have it, you're probably going, mm, MKX, Mortal Kombat 10, aka Mortal Kombat X, whatever you want to call it, it has, like, a lot of names. But, um, you guys are probably thinking, well, he's gonna be biased, because he's, like, a freaking fanboy. I am a fanboy of the series, I've been so for a long time, a long periodically time. There's been, like, four games in my li lifetime that have been released, because they release games not very often. 13 years they've made four games which is pretty good and lengthy so i don't know why people call it repetitive because call of duty like i've had this conversation first off one of my friends blue ghost calls mortal Kombat and fighting games repetitive well he doesn't understand this if you're like around the fighting games and you know that games like mk don't come out very often at all they don't come out like call of duty he's a fanboy of god He's like the, one of those kids that plays Call of Duty and Clash Clans. I play COD. I play Clash Clans. 
I don't do it with my freaking channel. I mean, I'm gonna make a few videos on those, but I'm a gamer. I prefer other games rather than just two very popular games. I don't. I'd rather just play other games that are fun. And so they're over here calling Mortal Kombat. They um him. He's over here calling Mortal Kombat repetitive. Look, if you think MK is more repetitive than COD, then you've lost your head. They make new characters in MK, and it doesn't come out every single year like Call of Duty does. They put more effort than they do in every single Call of Duty game in one, one MK game. One MK game. You can't call MK repetitive. That's just a no-no. People get mad at you, even if they're not MK fanboys or COD fanboys. They'll be like, yo, you're a COD fanboy, and you're calling MK repetitive. Your game is, like, my least favorite game on the market, even though I had to buy it, because it's highly requested, and it's, it's just, like, I, I hate... I really hate Call of Duty now. It's just not good. And I definitely do not look forward to playing it this summer. But unfortunately, I have to because I'm going to have to make a series of called Road the Blops 3. Yes, it's been recommended. And it's sadly going to... I don't know want to do it, though. But I have to do it. So I'm going to be playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the channel around the summertime in America. I don't know what... Summer is in Britain, maybe, or the UK, I should just call it, um, not Britain, I'll just call it the UK, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but, um, so, I don't know what season you're in, but for us, we're in spring, so we're almost in summer, which means vacation is almost here, and I'm gonna make, like, one COD video, like, maybe once every two, or maybe one every one week, every week i mean i'm not excited for this whatsoever it's just leading up to aw this i mean leading leading up to bobs 3 because of course everybody's gonna want to see me play bobs 3 and i'm of course i'm gonna buy it because it's the only game that my friends are gonna play and hey maybe you can shut me up about how much i'm really disliking call of duty in the past three years four years maybe it can shut me up and maybe i can start to learn to like the franchise again and from where it was and where it is now. I mean, I'd rather play Ghost than AW. Uh, that's sad. If anybody has played Call of Duty Ghost, let me know in the comment section below how much and how bad it was. It was a really bad game. Oh man, it was ugly. But, um, I just don't see Call of Duty going in any way, shape, or form to be successful. This isn't the Call of Duty ranting podcast. So let's get back to MK. And just hands down, MK. It's more unique. It's better than your first person shooter overused market. They don't respect it too. MK is one of the oldest video game franchises out there. They made games before consoles were even born. They Call of Duty made games before franchises were born? No, I think Call of Duty's made more games than Mortal Kombat has. I think. I'm not too sure, but I'm I'm gonna I'm willing to bet that Call of Duty has made more games than MK has, well actually, no, I'm not gonna bet that, but, um, I'm only gonna bet that MK had, well, MK probably made, like, three or four more, but that's not a lot, because COD's gonna catch up real fast, but Call of Duty started here in, like, around the 2000s, MK started in, like, the 80s, MK has been long before consoles are here, and people are gonna say MK's more repetitive than COD, no, COD has been the way... They've been doing the same exact thing over and over, people. All they do is just do the same exact thing over and over. I mean, what is the point of liking Call of Duty when it's just doing the same exact thing over and over and over and over again? Like, please, MK is not more repetitive than Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is much more fluid, much more of this, much more of that, much more effort putting, much more graphically talented. Much more, I know graphics aren't everything, so don't beat up on me, and I'm not saying they are, but I'm saying that's a strong point they got going for them there. They have way much more things going for them there. And why is Call of Duty just getting all the love? There's so much more games that have put in way more effort, and they don't come out as often in the series, because they put in effort in their games. Unlike Call of Duty, it's just not there. It isn't. I'm going to have to do a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare campaign. I haven't played the campaign in AW. Why? Because I was going to save it for my YouTube channel. Did I ever get around to doing it on my YouTube channel? No, because I around when I was going to do it, I'm like, you know what? This game sucks. But it's part of the reason why our clan shut down on AW. 
We shut down on AW. I mean, if you don't know what we did, we did. We no longer compete in Advanced Warfare Clan Wars. We're going to be competing in Blops 3 Clan Wars. We compete in Clash of Clans now, but we just quit the AW Surge of Exploration and Awesome. I mean, AW was awesome. At first, okay, our clan Excel led it too. We won our first clan war by over 200 clan points. That's a lot, COD. That's a lot of matches. That's a lot of effort put in by this second one. Everybody was just so done in this game by our second clan war. It was like torture to me playing it. I wanted to play other video games. I wanted to play Evolve that weekend. You know, I wanted to get some good stuff in there. I just wanted to have a cool gaming session and say I gotta hop on Call of Duty. I just dreaded it and our clan lost really badly. We got sixth place out of what ten? No, fifth out of ten. And on the first one we got first out of ten. That just summarizes what we that just summarizes if your team is interested in the game between if they're not. That's probably the reason why teams like Optic and FaZe did not do well during the it, ghost days because they didn't like the game. If you don't like the game, then you're not going to compete well in it, because you're not practicing, you're not liking it, you're not enjoying what you're doing. And that's by far the problem that COD has had. They've been losing their audience, because the people don't enjoy what they're playing. Like, Well, this is the same thing over and over. Advanced Warfare changed. I get it. I'm not complaining that Advanced Warfare changed. I'm complaining that the game was so just... They could have changed it to something else. It didn't have to be the future. There were millions of options. They could have done London Time Shooting. Heck, they could have gone like a down series. They could have done a dinosaur age shooter with modern day guns or futuristic guns. They didn't have to do this kind of stuff. They just chose to do it to take the futuristic path. They did something new with an exosuit, and dang, did it succeed. It went far down the road. It was amazing at first. But, like I said, no, they came with downhill. It was bad to the bone now. Nobody plays it. They're going down, like, people are selling this game. I would sell it, but I don't like selling video games. Because I like having them to collect them. You heard me. It was a pain in the butt to sell my 360 and my PS4 collection. Just to get an Xbox One. I sold over 20 games. So I could buy the Xbox One for you guys. And I, the PS4 console, I had bought, had bought, like, over 20 games from that. All hard copies sitting there in my beautiful collection. And man, did I love that junk. That was really... Oh, that was a dream come true. And then, I'm just like, you know what, though? Nobody's on PS4. Nobody wants to play. Don't worry, though. PS4 fans, I'm getting one for Christmas. I'm coming back to PlayStation. It's not over. Our legacy isn't over. Oh, yes. Yeah, I know. But Christmas is a long time away. Today is time for the MK party. So whoop 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 MK party, let's get it up in here. The latest of the latest That was really bad. Oh by the way, Indie of the Week goes to Castle of Darkness. Watch it on their Shadow Gaming's um, Ghost Robo's Brothers channel. It's really good and I like the game. Indie of the Week, it gets the award. But anyways, MK Party is gonna start right now and we're gonna be talking about uh in the MK party about my experiences so far in the game is it good is it bad is it worth your money or is that a total ripoff and it is worth your money times 965 i'm just gonna say that right off the bat i love mk10 oh mkx is so beautiful like a diamond in the sky um first off all 25 characters are gonna be named right here we have kung lao jackie briggs then we have kung jin Jax, cassie cage johnny cage shinnok um, Liu Kang, Katana, Melina, Kotokan. I'm not reading off a list here. I'm going off the pure memory. I played this game so much, I know every single character in the roster. We have Ferator, Reptile. I'm trying to zero it down because I got a lot of names to go down by. The four DLC characters are Tanya, Tremor, Reptile, not Reptile, <laughs> what the freak? Predator, he really reminds me of Reptile, I'm just saying. Um, Predator, and then the final blow of the thing, go to Jason Derulo. No, Jason Derulo is not a fighter, Jason Voorhees, but I thought it'd be funny to say Derulo. 
February, where if he started in the fighting game, Raid and Devora, we have the more action with Quan Chi, Sub Zero, Scorpion, Kano. You can't leave out the classies. Classics, okay, in case you didn't know the slang I was putting in there, but um, <laughs> um, that was really that was really lame. But um, then there is uh some new characters, as I mentioned, most of them. We have Takeda Takashi, Kenji returns. Oh yeah, you heard me, Kenji returns. It was a blast. Why isn't I saying it was a blast? I love Kenshi. Let's just give him a moment to talk about his three, I don't know, his three thingies. I think one's like decomposed, balanced, and Kenjutsu. I think that's what it is. But one of them is like a heavy attacker, which is like the decomposed one, the died dead overlord blade. I love playing as this as Kenshi, but I don't like playing as that one because he's like a heavy slow attacker and it does a lot of damage, but it strings combos well from a good range. But I'm just not one of those kind of guys. The balanced is like the trapper version of him. I mean, not Trapper, um, Kenjutsu is like the Trapper, because he can, like, pick you up with his, like, magical blue ray powers, and I didn't finish naming it, but I don't think you guys need to know it, everything. Uh, let me know if you want me to finish it, and I'll just name the whole 25 roster at the beginning of the next podcast next week, because Tuesday is podcast day. But, um, and then Balanced is my favorite, probably, well, actually, I love Kenjutsu now I think about it, because he has some sword moves in there. They're really nice. But, um, Balanced is, like, the, um, like, decomposed version of him. I'm just going to call it that. I know 100% that's not the name, but I just was going to go with it. Jax is pretty cool, too, but, um, so we're on the topic of Mr. Kenshi, and Kenshi has a beautiful... Move set and balance. It's like the decompose, but it's a lighter attack, and you can string combos. Not as far ranged, but you can get it from mid range, and then you can do some nice kicking moves, and you can do some nice other moves, not kicking, but you can do moves too to help like finish off your opponent. It's really good. Um, lately I've been playing as um Scorpion, and he's the guy that I've been going to lately because I've been trying to like get his skins unlocked and the, all the hard tough challenges Johnny Cage I got his skins unlocked same with Liu Kang and Kung Jin but um Johnny Cage is a really tough character to get in place but Scorpion alright funny story I got to the last battle of the tower and it was just raging me off in case you don't know in classic towers you have to face corrupted Shinnok as your final and he is OP as crap I have played like 9 matches with him and I still lost I had to eat dinner so I wanted to skip the fight and I knew MK would put something silly like they do always do some crypt scares and stuff. But I knew they were going to do some silly stuff with it because Edwin's like that kind of person. And so if you skip the final fight in the tower, it restarts your game and you have to restart the tower. So I was like, oh my gosh. And so I got to the top of a tower, skipped it, restarted it, and you lost your token too. It, it wasn't a coincidence, and it takes like 20 minutes to finish each one. So I spent like an hour after I got done with dinner testing this and like, Okay, so this is a troll. If you can't skip the last fight, I wouldn't try doing that in story. Because if you tried to skip the last fight in story mode, and restarted the whole story game, I am just not risking that at all. No siree. But, um, I, I was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing this to me for? I was just trying to get some skins for Scorpion right on the hands of Sashi, which I got in the crypt. And so I was pretty furious. I'm like, man, that is such a good troll, though. And so I just went all my day. I wasn't going to whine about it. Because I respect some people that do the funny things like that. Because I think that's just... If Call of Duty made trolls like that, that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. Once again, Call of Duty popping up in the wrong segment. Call of Duty. Uh, that game. No, uh, uh, that game. So, it's so angry. It really makes me feel funky. I love I no, 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 no. Anyways. <laughs> What am I doing with anything? But anyways, the MK party, it's really fun. Um, those are some of the stories. Also, I have played like 20 matches in a row, and I won all 20 of them. I was in the Black Dragon room, and there were some pretty, pretty awesome guys that challenged me, but I had my strategies, because I wasn't that good online. I, am, I don't play online that much, because I'm usually uploading when I play MK, because it's really fun to play uploading in offline modes. I beat the story about twice, and I'm doing a third walkthrough on the channel in about a week. 
just to get things started. I want to finish it before summer because I'm going to kick off summer with in you know, the U.S. with an exciting series. But yeah, I think you guys are really going to enjoy the one I'm going to do this summer. It's going to be pretty awesome. I, I'm going to like it. I don't know about you guys, but I, I will definitely enjoy that series that we're going to kick off summer with. A.K.A. I'm going to leave a surprise, but it's coming out soon. It's coming out before summer. Just going to let you know. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, and I want all 20 of them. I want it with Takeda. I want some with Aaron Black, aka my favorite main guy, aka a aka Beast Gun, aka coming for that booty with that slide and that sand trap for days. Aka grab you and you'll be dead, aka hop on your face and shoot you with bullets, aka this, aka that, aka I'll six shooter your face and the body and I'll make some fancy hand pistol moves. AKA if you fail to do my fatalities, which are quite difficult except for the second one, then you're an absent one. AKA I'll shoot you in the stomach until it all blows out. AKA I'm coming for that sand in your face. AKA dropping cold drops. AKA stabbing you in the chest and leaving some damage and then dropping cold drops and then doing a sick sand trap on you to do ultimate damage and leave you ultimately death. And be able to have a flawless round, aka. <laughs> I'm just not gonna aka him anymore. Point is, Aaron Black's my main man. And let's get started with the Bloodborne vs. Witcher 3 debate. It's gonna be fun. We have two excellent RPG games. The Blood Bloodboard and Witcher 3. Which one is better? Well, Witcher 3 has been delayed a whole lot, but my theory for the second time when the Witcher 3 was delayed is the fact that it was gonna come out the same time Bloodborne was, and they don't want to compete with that PS4 exclusive because then nobody would buy the PS4 game. He'd be like, well, Bloodborne's better than this. I'm just gonna buy this, and so sales would go down. So that's my theory why they re-delayed it to May. That's my complete. I, uh, uh, I just got hair in my mouth. That was nasty. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, that's the reason my theory is why they delayed it more. They, they, they say the game was wasn't ready. No, they just don't want to release it with Bloodborne. Because they know Bloodborne would blow them out the window in competition. But Bloodborne was an amazing RPG PS4 exclusive. Don't know if you don't know what it is. You've been living under a rock. It's only been the game to be reviewed on YouTube and just be talked about on YouTube as... A really great RPG and Dark Souls Little Brother. Cool game too. Very rageful. Easier than Dark Souls though, so hey, gives those light players like, I don't wanna do this cave, it's too hard, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna be the worst Bloodborne player ever. Oh no. It gives those players a chance to go, Oh man, I'm so good at this Bloodborne. Man, I cannot wait to play Dark Souls. I'm gonna smash you through the roof, Dark Souls 2 remastered edition thing in the jiggy. I'm coming for you, next gen console. I haven't. I'm gonna be like I just beat Bloodborne. Bloodborne bosses are really the bosses are really difficult. I mean, I cannot believe the bosses on Bloodborne. They are very difficult. The first one, if you're not leveled up and you have to do a lot of grinding to beat them. Second one is like the boss fight of about of like a freaking century. Man, that's really f really fun to do and really difficult to do as well. And then the boss battles only get harder from there. A lot of YouTubers have been left blank on the series, because a lot of people have, A, either not made a series, or B, they're not even done yet. But hey, only a few have finished. Some guy beat it in 12 hours, which is insane, and he's like a professional RPG gamer, but hey, that's him. Not me, definitely not me. I probably won't be the guy to beat Bloodborne 12 hours. I'll probably be Bloodborne 120 hours. <laughs> but anyways, The Witcher 3 is something, it's competitor the two only RPGs that we know of that are coming out this year. And that's Bloodborne and Witcher 3. Witcher 3, we don't know anything about it rather than the trailers we've seen. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt looks like a very interesting game, and I think it could be better than Bloodborne if it capitalizes on its delays. It was supposed to come out last year, around November, but I once again, my theory is A, the game wasn't ready, B, they don't want to release it, and November, where this game is going to be like isolated out of the billion other games coming out in November. 
That's why I'm really mad about Battlefront, Halo, and Blobs 3 coming out in the same month of November. Man, that's too much for me. But, um, Witcher 3 looks like it has some good bosses. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is the same thing. It's just, I forget to say Wild Hunt sometimes. But I think that both these games have a potential, and I think that they can both be amazing. Witcher 3, I'm definitely going to be doing a walkthrough on it on my channel. I will be trying to. I'm saving up for it currently, and I have $30, so halfway there. Oh, and it's 14 days, two weeks. So it's going to release on a Tuesday. May 19th, I am so pumped for it, 14 days, 14 days, 14 days, because today is the 5th, but I'm two weeks to get 30 bucks, I can do that, anyways, I'm going to see you guys later, thank you so much for stopping by, and once again, I want you guys to stay awesome, and subscribe to the channel, like, oh, this is not Cory Kenton, crap, like!